Welcome to Compute 175 Python Review. In the previous video, we've seen how for loops can be used when we want to repeat something a fixed number of times, or for iterating over sequences. However, there are times when you want to repeat something until a condition is satisfied, or you may want to repeat something indefinitely. In this video, we'll discuss while loops. While loops are useful when you don't know exactly when the condition will be false. For example, let's write a program that asks the user for a negative number. It will not stop asking the user until they type a negative number. First thing is to define a number initially to any non-negative number. So, zero will do. Next, while the number is greater than or equal to zero, we'll repeat the following. We'll ask the user, please enter a negative number. Once the loop is finished, we'll print a short message. Print, thank you. Number sure is a negative number. And let's try it. I'll try it with three. That's a positive number, so it asks me once again. I'll try again with 42. That's still a positive number. How about 65,536? Still positive. Finally, I'll try it with a negative number, like negative three. There we go, the loop terminated and the message at the bottom printed. There are a few components of the while loop I'd like to cover. As with for loops, while loops have a body which is the part you want to repeat. Unlike for loops, while loops have a condition. The condition is an expression that evaluates to true or false. When the condition is true, that means the body will execute. In other words, it will repeat. In this example, I specify that the loop should repeat while I have a number greater than or equal to zero. That is, it repeats while the number is a non-negative number. When Python reaches the end of the body, it will test the condition again to see if it should repeat. Python will repeat the body of the while loop until the expression evaluates to false. Notice that the program is in full control of whether the loop will repeat or not. A question to think about. How can we ensure that the loop that we've written will eventually stop running? In other words, how can you ensure that a loop will terminate? There's one part I glossed over and that's this number variable. Why did I assign it before the while loop? Let's delete the assignment of number before the while loop and try the program again. It gives us a name error because Python executes the condition before the first execution of the loop body. This implies that you can write while loops that never execute because the condition is true before the loop is ever started. For example, if I add that line again, but instead assign a negative number to it, like negative 1, the number is already negative, so when Python tests the while loop condition for the first time, it's already true. There's no need to run the body at all. Therefore, when I run this program, it will never ask me to enter a negative number. Another way to write this while loop is to keep an explicit Boolean variable to use as the while loop condition. Let's rewrite the while loop in this style. I'll call my Boolean variable should ask question. And initially, it will be true. Instead of this condition, I'll change it to while should ask question. Therefore, this loop will repeat while I should be asking the question. Let's try this version. All right, so I'll try entering a positive number. OK, let's try a negative number now. Uh-oh, it's still asking us to insert a negative number. So what went wrong? What we've just witnessed is called an infinite loop. This means that the loop will keep repeating forever. It will never terminate, because the loop condition never becomes false. In order to fix this, we must ensure that the condition will eventually evaluate to false. Right now, our condition is dependent on the value of the variable should ask question. 
but we never change this variable in the loop body. Let's stop running this code. You can stop errant code in Wing 101 by clicking on Options and then Restart Shell. Let's fix the body of this while loop. We'll need to add an if statement in the body of the loop that will reassign should ask question from true to false. So, if the number is less than zero, then we should no longer ask a question. Should ask question equal false. Let's try that. So I'll enter eight is a nice positive number, 123, 2048. Okay, good. Now for the moment of truth, negative 12. There we go. The loop terminated. We managed to fix that infinite loop by changing the variable that is evaluated in the condition of the while loop. In this video, we've seen how we can use while loops to repeat based on a condition in Python. We learned how to write conditions in a few different ways and how to fix unintentional infinite loops. In the next video, we'll be learning about container types.